Hey everybody, welcome back to X-Plane 11. We're in the Carinado, uh F-33. I love this plane. This is, um, it's one of my favorites. It's got the same panel as the uh, the Bonanza that Brad flies, so I'm, I'm used to it. Um, but we are now in the Western expansion. So if you're if you're unfamiliar with Pilot Edge or you're you're watching this um, later on, um, Pilot Edge is broken down into ZLA and Western expansion. So it's basically Southern California, Vegas, and the West. Um, so I've added that, which is which is nice. I just downloaded the um, uh, 10 ortho tiles in the Tahoe, Sacramento um, area. And I wanted to test it out. I was going to do it on VATSIM, um, but instead we're going to be on Pilot Edge because I love Pilot Edge. Um, homie, what's happening? Okay. Um, so the bar... On the, your right, I guess, I'm pointing to my left, it's on your right. Um, it's, <laughs> it's kind of a joke, um, and I will, I promise I will explain it and I will pay it off um, soon, um, but I can't, I can't right now. Um, it's a little tongue in cheek, but also not really. Uh, that's in flyer and below minimums. You guys are going to be, um, uh, very unsatisfied with that answer. Uh, you lost a bet, didn't you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just want Brad. You bastard, that was going to be money! <laughs> that was beautiful. Nice radio call, Bill. Looking really good, Bill. I know we've got, um, I know there's something else. There's another one. Oh yeah, this one. That's not how you spell either of those words. Whoa! Whoa. Found it! Hello. Found the ground. But we know that there are some screws loose in this cabin. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I think that's all of them. Is that all of them? Oh, no. It's just this one. We haven't used this one in a long time. Cool. Go somewhere else. I think that's all of them, right? Found it. Yeah. I think that's all of them. So, now that I've spanned uh, chat sufficiently... Let's talk about the actual flight here. Uh, so we're up at Reno, and this is all very new to me. So we're gonna take it relatively seriously in terms of taxing frequencies. It's gonna be be pretty new, um, but we're also, you know, uh, gonna take some liberties with an unknown area, especially considering the type of terrain that we're gonna be dealing with. Um, there is uh, Mono Lake is right here, and then to the west, almost due west, there is Half Dome Rock. It's a very um, unique topographical feature, to put it plainly, in uh, California, in the Sierra Nevadas, Yosemite, I think. Um, someone can correct me if I'm off on that. Uh, but it's kind of like a, a, a tourist destination. It's something that you can see on an airline if you're if you're flying uh, far enough west, um, or I guess east for that matter too. But um, the last flight, the last commercial flight I took, we went right over it, so I didn't get to see it. But I could see uh, Mono Lake, which is um, ecologically pretty cool. There's some very weird uh, birds and bugs and kind of some stuff happening uh, at this lake. If you watch nature shows, you've probably seen this feature. I think it was on um, one of your David Attenborough. Uh, David Attenborough. I am not uh, an Englander, so I can't I can't cut off the, the O at the end. Uh, but I want to see if I can find Half Dome Rock. 
see what it looks like with the new ortho, if I can even spot it. Uh, I know roughly where it is, so we should be able to get close. I have a good feeling that we're gonna be able to find it. It's just gonna be a matter of what it looks like and um, go from there. So the Bill's new instructor fund, um, to, to uh, recap, moderately tongue in cheek, there is a story behind it that I promise will be paid off at some point. So just keep that, keep that in mind. Um, it, the, it, it will go, it will go to good use. I, I promise you. All right, let's look at, uh, things about Reno that we need to know, uh, which is the weather and the weather looks like it's fine. I think we're going to be fine. If we run into weather, we'll just turn it off, but we, we should be good to go. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get this plane started then. Okay, here is my beautiful Finbar special. That doesn't help anybody. Uh, I'm the type of person who hates knowing there's a story, but not knowing the story. I am the same way, dude. It bugs the crap out of me. Um, it bugs the crap out of me. I... I <laughs> <laughs> and I really apologize for putting you guys through this. Um, but you know, hopefully, hopefully you'll, you'll consider it uh, a payoff at some point. Uh, Greg, IFR instructor for after you pass your check ride. Maybe could be, uh, Brad banned me from the bonanza, but that's only a small detail. <laughs> We must have done something really bad, Striders. Uh, only because I said he made a shitty landing. At, you do not want to criticize the landings or criticize the range, speed, or performance in any manner of the Bonanza. <laughs> of course. All right, let's get, let's get in this thing. I think we've got the scenery nice and loaded up here. Let's get this yoke out of the way. Um, what are we, what are we doing here? I know we're doing something. Let's get the parking brake set. We'll get the masters on, that on. Is the avionics switch on? It is. We'll turn that off. Just pretend. Crack the throttle halfway in this case, and we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, prime with the fuel pump for five seconds. Join with me. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Go f rich, or uh, lean that out, full out, and let's get this thing started up. This plane only wants to start with half throttle, it seems like, but when you start it up with that much throttle in there, you gotta, you gotta pull it real quick. Uh, life of pilot, how's it going? <laughs> King Airs are a real plane. <laughs> Props are for boats. I do. I do like a King Air. I'm not gonna really put anything in the GPS. We're gonna be slant for flight here a little bit and just pilotage our way out to the um, Mono Lake. And then from there, we'll head west and see if we can find this, uh, this lovely rock. Uh, frequencies, we're just gonna be on all new frequencies right here. ATIS is 358. 358. Reno 4, altimeter 3046. Arriving and departing runways 16 right, 16 left. Visual approaches in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight follow Yoshi, what's is up? requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information Delta. Reno Tahoe International Airport. ATIS information Delta. 0255 Zulu, wind 040 at 4, visibility 10, ceiling 25000 broken, 
Temperature 10, dew point minus 14, altimeter 3046, arriving and departing runways 16 right, 16 left, visual approaches in use, VFR departures contact clear and what? delivery, advise on which <laughs> heading, altitude. Is that right, 3046? Read back all runway assignments. Um, operatives, what's happening? Advise on initial oh my contact. god, that is correct. Delta. Reno Yikes. Tahoe International Airport. Aetis information. Just finished chores. I've been putting off all day. 11 p.m. isn't too late for doing something productive, right? Is it's within the day, man. That's good to go. You're all set there. 3046 is pretty gnarly. Okay, Reno clearance and delivery 24.9. I barely even recall if this is a Charlie or not. It's a Charlie, right? Yeah. So we're going to probably have some kind of... It's my first radio call on the Western Expansion. This is awesome. <laughs> Super hot. Got you, Gene. <laughs> uh, Eagle, don't even joke about that. I might, I, I would can, I would honestly, I'd can, I would consider that. I would consider that. That would be. That that might warrant a, a private Discord chat. Reno clearance, good evening. Bonanza 204 Lima Echo with information Delta. I would like flight following to the south at 6,500. That was beautiful. Nice radio call, Bill. Uh, affirmative, yeah, 204 Lima Echo. Oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll fix that really quick. Hang on. Sorry, Eugene. What did I What did I type in? Have I two? Oh, okay. Two zero four. Lima Echo. Two zero four Lima Echo. Okay. Connected to pilot engine. Thinking on frequency. <laughs> Yeah, I did what now? What are we talking about? But how many times do you think on frequency what your, your registration number is? Are you sure you didn't mean... Uh, oh, yeah, hang on. I also, I did not mean that. Reno Clearance, good evening. And now we're Bonanza 204 Lima Echo. Information Delta, like flight following to the south. Bonanza 204 Lima Echo. Good evening, departure frequency 119.2. Squawk 6312. Departure frequency 192, squawking 6212, 204 Lima Echo. Okay, Readback is correct. That's dope. Reno clearance, it's uh, Mark Kennedy 64 Echo Mike. Uh oh. Mark Kennedy 64 Echo Mike, Reno clearance. Hey Reno, uh, Mark Kennedy 64 Echo Mike is an SF. Uh, 260. We're at Atlantic with the weather. I'd like to depart to the south at 6,500, please. Mark Eddie Floyd, come on, Cody Bunch, 50.C119.2, squawk 5761. 19.25761, Mark Eddie 64, come on. Good day, Kick. Looking really good, though. <laughs> we might have to join up with that, Mark Eddie. I wonder if he's going in the same direction we are. We'll find out. Uh, 19... Well, again, moderately, moderate to severely tongue-in-cheek. But if you wanted to, there is a link at the bottom, if you just scroll down, it has the two dollar signs next to it. That needs to be higher up. I don't know why I have that. So we're gonna. Southwest 2688, contact Los Angeles Center 133.2. Have a good day. We're gonna move that 
to Nia. That's better. That's better. Let's get ground. What's up with ground? 21.9er. And where the hell are we? We're at Stellar Aviation. That's fantastic. Reno Ground, Bonanza 204 Lima Echo with information Delta at Stellar Air Taxi. One six left via Charlie. One six left via Charlie. Two zero four Lima Echo. Okay. Have we sufficiently warmed up the oil? I think everything is probably warm at this point. Right. Let's go find. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keen <laughs> Commander Keen. <laughs> I totally forgot that I made that sound effect. Commander Keen, thank you so much for um for the donation. That was my there's there there is some irony about. That is my original instructor, Tony. Uh I think we were doing like a power off 180. I could probably find that that clip. Um, I just thought it was hilarious how he said, yeah! <laughs> how he said, yeah? And then I just, of course, added a little bit of um, which band? Does anybody know what band um, that song is from? I know, Ryan, I know. Ryan, the, the more cultured among us might know. Yeah, Titanium Druid got it. Um, like we don't know. <laughs> well, some people might not. I bet there's a significant amount of people that don't, that don't know. Um, I think that's pretty fair to say that not everybody knows of Pink Floyd. 164 left taxi, Charlie, 6 for Echo Mike, we have Delta. Which is totally fine. I mean, I th it's one of those... Um, Pink Floyd is one of those bands that you may not know them by name, but if you heard the song, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I know that. I know that. I know of Pink Floyd. That's not necessarily what they sound like. Yeah. See, and that's a good example. Like, um, Blow Minimums. You, I guarantee you, you've heard... Uh, a bunch of Pink Floyd songs. Uh, but you just may not know that it was Pink Floyd. Uh, I don't want to be de demonetized. Uh, for the audio to be muted. Um, but the rest of that song... I mean, you can look it up. Let's look up Pink Floyd. He's heard money. I guarantee he's heard money. Um, we don't need no education. Bring, bring, bring. What? What's wrong with that? Some some people say that they don't necessarily know of Pink Floyd's work. Uh, quite young. Julia Julia heard me singing. We don't need no education. And Number just, four three X ray Sierra. Then we debunch the ground frequency is one to one point. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about money because that's part of the sound effect. Julia, apparently Julia is <laughs> an, an expert on um, Pink Floyd. All right, let me. This is uh, where. Let me see if I can find it. Julia, come come here for a second. Yeah, we interrupt this stream for. Um, so th this is this is Tony. This is November Tony. 4, we were doing some like crazy landing, and this is the audio. Detection. Julia's a hater. Uh, this is the audio cue for. Number four three X ray Sierra. Listen, listen, on the ready? ground. Runway three five left. Taxi via Mike yeah. Alpha. <laughs> advise when you have information, Bravo. Okay, continue taxi. Continue taxi. 
Mike, Alpha, Depart 35 left. Uh, we do have Bravo. It's one of those bands that, like I said, if you if you. No, that you've heard, if you don't know them by name, you probably know, you've heard their songs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, operatives, we're going to fly to, try to fly to Half Dome Rock. Hey, Julia, while you're um, bopping around singing Pink Floyd, can you give me some more um, scotch, please? Chris, all right, Chris, there is a link if you scroll down on Twitch, but also Ryan is not wrong. <laughs> if the if the chat would like to give instructions, not a, I, I, I promise you this is not a con job below. I promise. Oh, I love you guys so much. I mean, if anything, it's to hear some Pink Floyd. Okay, tower is 18.8. 18.8. And there's... T nope, that's... <laughs> Sorry, this whole thing has been worth $20. Yeah, it might it might not show up on mobile. I'm not I'm not sure. Okay, we're we're heading we're heading south. Let's let's give this a shot. <clears throat> okay, are we good on four flight? I think we're good on four flight. We'll declutter we'll declutter a little bit. Reno Tower or Bonanza two zero four Lima Echo holding short one six left. Doesn't show on mobile. Okay. Do we get the right frequency? Ah. Oh. There we go. Reno Tower, Bonanza, 204 Lima Echo, holding short, 1-6 left at Charlie. Bonanza, 204 Lima Echo, Reno Tower, only 1-6 oh, left, God. clear for takeoff. Damn it! We clear have to so oh, fight! Clear for takeoff, 1-6 left, 204 Lima Echo. Hey, bird, whoa! Greg, Buddy. thank you so much for the subscription, man. I appreciate Approaching that. Approaching runway 16 left. Entered runway 16 left. 8900 feet remaining. More complex. Here we go. Cleared right. Cleared left. We got a little Carinado prop fart, and we're also nowhere near center line. That's a little bit better. What is happening right now? Okay. Board this takeoff. Reno Tower, Bonanza 204, Lameco, we're aborting this takeoff. Bonanza for Lameco Road, you can turn left on runway 7, otherwise left on Charlie. Okay, we're left on runway 7, and then we'll take an immediate left. 204, Lameco.
for KD full echo micron, we one six left, good for takeoff, wind zero four zero at four. <laughs> I mean, when, for when, you, when you beat your instructor at a landing competition, is that when it's time to replace them? I think that's probably, I think that's probably when, yeah. Let's go ahead here. <clears throat> but on the full echo, you're looking for taxi back. Uh, affirmative to uh, four lane echo. But on the full echo, on we one six left, taxi via Charlie this frequency. Charlie, we'll stay with you. It's one six left, five three one seven six uh, two zero four lane echo. <laughs> okay, that's the tower view apparently. Let's not take out some runway lights. Uh, you might want to shut it down and check the uh, the maintenance. Ooh, that's actually a really good point, Ryan. Um, that's a, that's actually a good point. Uh, didn't announce clear of runway seven. Good thing. Well, first of all, um, Eugene is a he, but um, but I said I said I was turning. Mark eighty four Echo Mike, uh, ready contact, contact Morocco departure. Four Echo Mike. That was kind of exciting. That thing did not want to take off. <laughs> Mark eighty six Four Echo Mike, Morocco departure, Roger. It's very a very aerobatic Skyhawk. We need, um, now, we had somebody create an absolutely incredible um, Fallbrook Airport. Uh, Raven Black, thank you for the update to Fallbrook. That will be coming, we'll, we'll check that out soon. But he did an unbelievable job of recreating the. Um, I, do, I do need more scotch. Pull up, Julia. Up. Can I get some more scotch, please? You're working. Well, you can work and give me scotch too. Just a little, just a little tiny bit. Okay, if you're sending an email, we can. It can wait. Um, Anor Dino V. I hope I didn't butcher that too much, but thank you so much for for following. Welcome, welcome aboard. Uh, yeah. Can you can you uh, show show? The, I don't know if you can hear that pop. Um, no, it should, it should be. Can you give me a little a little bottle bottle flash. Eight hours, bottle to throttle, gentlemen. <laughs> no, it's actually, it's Kirkland. It's really, really good. Um, Costco, Costco's branded um, alcohol is, is actually really good. And I have... Welcome back, Roger. Blow says hello, Julia. And Keen, you are correct. You did hear a cord pop out. Boom. Scampers. Scampers. It's fantastic, dude. It's really, really nice. Yeah, and I have got it, Joe. I have, that's where my, that was the slippery slope, is the, the vodka, the Kirkland vodka. I don't know why I'm um, Yeah, the vodka is, is fantastic. So I thought, hey, if the vodka is so good, I bet the scotch is good as well, so I tried it, and I mean, I have, I've got, Johnny Blue is my, like, nice special occasion scotch. Um, so I don't touch that too often, and this, this is, this is good. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. November 43, XS Sierra, on shore, 35 left. November 43, XS Sierra, Arena Tower, Station Denver Tower. Turn right, heading 
105, runway 35 left, clear for takeoff. From right, heading 305, remember, 1302. Number 3 heading I just arrived at the store getting in. Alright, I think I think the run up takes off 105. Reno Tower, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, holding short 16 left at Charlie. Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, runway 16 left, clear for takeoff, wind 040 at 4. Clear for takeoff 16 left at uh, Charlie, uh, 204 Lima Echo. Approaching Hello, runway 16 uh, left. Runway Entered end, runway 16 left. 8,900 <laughs> feet remaining. Uh, <laughs> Eagle, that's hilarious. Dude, um, Wednesdays are special occasions. Clear Johnny Blue is Number really, three, really here. Okay, we're... We're all in the green. Everything looks and sounds good. I think we're okay. What's up, Dave? Oh, good call, Ryan. Thank you. Okay, for a mic, I'm ready to switch to many tips. Quack, the file frequency change approved with him. Oh, frick. There we go. Okay. Dave, I am ready to solo, just waiting on my medical to get back. Dude. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. Branza 4, Lima Echo. Ready contact, contact. No call departure. Departure 204, Lima Echo. Norcal, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, 5200. But I'm the to follow my echo, no call departure, Roger. Fred? November 4th, happy uh, departure 126.1. Vodka is water for, or Slavic for water. I'm good with that. Yeah, Ryan, good point, man. Um, we're already pretty high up. Again, that was part of part of my like preface to taking off from Reno is Cessna Skyhawk two zero four. Oh, fuck. Did you hear that, Julia? Yeah. Poor Julia. Oh, um. Q. Uh, this is for you. This is. It's not published. I. I should actually publish it. This is an unpublished audio cue. This is my mom. Um, Q heard her on the phone earlier today and was um, abused, but here you go. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the shut the fuck up sign. So please, be seated. That's... Oh God, that's my mother. <laughs> I'm just surrounded by women with just foul mouths. <laughs> Both F-bombs, too. What the hell? Um, that's really funny. Uh, oh, what you can do is go full power on the ground, lean for max RPM, manifold, and that will be your best power takeoff mixture, yeah. And the only real experience I have with that is um, Big Bear where we did that, where like in the run up, when you go full full RPM, you know, full power in the run up, or not, I guess not really full power, but um, you know, in the run up, you can lean it at that point. 
um, when you're at altitude. This climb rate look familiar to you. We're not uh, necessarily blasting out of the sky, that's for sure. Uh, it's wonderful when you kids grow up enough that you can interact with them as adults. The shock on their faces at the times. Yeah. There was, like, almost a moment with my mom where she was, like, mother. Like, she had, you know, the short haircut, the big purse, the, the Target sweater, the whole mom vibe. Um, and then just one day, she just was like, you know, whatever. She grew up with four older brothers, so she's a little rough around the edges in general. But no, she but was in... Uh, Norco, was that for uh, 204 Lima Echo? Four Lima Echo Negrifa. Sorry, Eugene. Uh, yeah, so she, she's, like I said, a little bit rough around the edges, uh, but there was just a day, a time when she just. Was <laughs> She called my sister a C word, um, kind of playfully, like they were in a little back and forth. And my sister said, "Like you're you're being such a bitch." My mom said, "Well, yeah, you're being a C word." And at that point, from then on, it was pretty much uh, open season. We're like, "Oh, got it. We're the the filter has been removed." Say again, direct to. No, much faster. Say direct to Lapsi, Lima, Uniform, Fox, Dot, Sierra, Echo. Uh, Ryan, you're going to learn that there are far fewer frequency changes out here in Western. Got it. Direct to Lapsi, climb to one one thousand. November. My wife laughs at me yeah. that I don't say the c word. <laughs> Landon Carson, my company sends us there like twice a week for one of our clients. Um, I'm not going to land there because if I land there, I won't be able to climb back up here. But let's, uh, well, I'll definitely, thanks for telling me, Striders. We'll, we'll take a look at it for sure. Sounds like your mom would be fine with this frequency. Oh, great. She's hilarious. She's hilarious. The, um, the origin of this audio clip is I, I asked her, she, she lives in Seattle. She's like super Seattle fanboy. And I said, hey, will you be my flight attendant on a flight from Seattle, from SeaTac to John Wayne in the Zebo 737? Um, she's got Discord. She shows up on the Discord, which, by the way, if you haven't joined the Discord, please do. It's my favorite thing ever. I love it. Quasar, what's up? Um, happy Tuesday, Quasar. So I asked her, like, hey, would you, would you hop on Discord chat and be my flight attendant and read off the, um, the announcements, like, actually act as a flight attendant? So I found an, an actual FA script. Um, I don't rem I, It may have been from Alaska, but I... I don't know for sure. Um, but anyway, so I, I asked her to read off this. It was a pretty fun stream to have her on the stream. And I would say, like, hey, you know, Ryan Ryan says whatever. And she would respond, and it was it was pretty fun. But I, I told her to read off um, specifically for an audio cue. I said, Mom, we have, like, these, these audio cues. Will you please say this? The captain has turned on the shut the F up sign. And she actually dropped an F-bomb. And it was really, really funny. Um, so she she did it, and it was hilarious. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the shut the F up sign. <laughs> so please, be seated. <laughs> she just turns it on. She just, oh, it's so funny. Um, me and Ryan were talking about how good the Discord is at the brewery in Florida. Dude, I... So, uh, Ryan's, the Ryan's. Um, Brad and I were just talking about you guys 
today. I mean, like a couple hours ago, and and how, like, really how amazing it is to for for me to have done all of this stuff. You know, it takes some. It takes a lot of effort. I mean, it it, it might look like we're just screwing around and playing video games, but. It does take some effort to set up, set all this stuff up, and do it. And and Ryan, I think you had mentioned earlier, um, you know how difficult it is to go from uh, flying, paying attention to the radios, paying attention to chat, switching scenes, and all. I mean, it's it does it's it's a lot to do, um, and just how how worth it it has been for a number of reasons, and. To me, I can't tell you guys how much it's meant for, for one, Adoned and Ryan, and then Ryan and Ryan, below, below minimums and Ryan, to, to have met. And it, it feels, I mean, it's kind of weird that I, like, I wasn't there, um, and you, you guys kind of met through the stuff that, that I've put out, um, and it feels it's really really cool it it um it's got to be one of the most fulfilling things about doing this is the fact that that not only me and you guys have um cultivated relationships but you've cultivated relationships with each other and and that is if you know if i had anything to do with that um that's super cool it's really when when you guys sent me those pictures, you know, hey, we, we met up, it it like blew my mind. I couldn't I couldn't believe it. It's it's crazy. Um, there you go, Striders. There's your there's your Carson. Uh, everyone on Discord and the streams really make it fun, and I'm still learning at the same at the same time. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm learning too at, at all times as well, and it's um, it's a lot of fun. But the fact that you guys can meet each other and uh, you know it's it's hard to describe what what that's like because it does take a lot of effort and it takes me sitting here doing this with Julia in the other room having dinner by herself or you know I mean any any of the number of sacrifices that are made to do this um, you know it, it it definitely makes it not only worth it but like just beyond cool by the way that's lake tahoe uh i can barely pay attention to agc right now let alone agc and twitch chat <laughs> props pun intended <laughs> thank you thanks Jay. Uh, i cannot really fly on tv and watch stream at the same time let alone host one I found out I live like 30 minutes from Ryan. That's crazy. And look, who's to say that you guys wouldn't have connected some other way? But to be, to, to think of myself as as maybe having any part in in connecting people that have the same passion and you know live close to one another. Um, that's super. That's like like I said. I it's hard to explain the feeling that that I get from that. Because a big part of what I've really enjoyed about the aviation community is the the community aspect of it. I, I came from the automotive industry to a large extent. I worked in uh, aftermarket industry, car care, surface care, um, in a couple of different um, aspects, and have dealt with all kinds of people um, in the aviation or in the uh, automotive industry from tuners to track rats to concor winning people oh, yeah scared the crap out of me chris thank you so much for the five dollar donation to the bill's new instructor fund <laughs> see junk uh, 
as soon as I get my private license, we are definitely going to have a, a meetup for sure. Um, Colin, happy Tuesday. Good evening. Speaking of learning, Bill, hello. Um, traffic, uh, 12 o'clock, 4 miles crossing right to left, altitude indicates 1,500. Channel approach, many 4076 servers on the best approach to Tacoma and Harris. Tacoma Narrows. That was my first discovery flight. That's awesome. At NorCal Approach, Bonanza 204 Lumeco, we're looking for that traffic. Thanks. Uh, okay, Colin, uh, been on VATS. Uh, VATS them over the past couple of weeks and ended up watching your entire video on YouTube on your first flight. Good stuff. Learned a lot. Awesome. Dude, Colin, that's, that's so cool. Um... GPS three four approach. It's very, it's very flattering and and cool and weird that you. Uh, um, learn anything. So I'm I'm glad I'm glad there was some educational value in there. Uh, yeah. So see, junk. We'll, we'll we're definitely going to get a meetup going, and it's going to be a freaking blast. Uh, I agree with that. Everyone I've met in aviation has been super friendly and helpful. I fly in PE because of Bill and the game. Awesome team. Two scotches in, all about the feels. Well, as soon as I start talking about this, no matter if I'm zero or eight scotches in, it it gets to me for sure. <laughs> uh, love PE, trying to get into bats in, but PE has spoiled me with the ease of use. PE, you dial in the real frequency. Contact the approach, one, two, four point zero. I feel really bad for you, Gene. Um, 124.0204 Lima Echo. For Lima Echo, that's for somebody else. Oh. Sorry, Eugene. For Lima Echo. No worries. Number 43 and 3 Sierra, you up? Uh, okay. I, I'm going to get caught up here. November 4, 3, X, X, Sierra. Tried VATSIM November doesn't feel right. X, yeah, so approach, one, the two, mindlessness one, point, of Pilot Edge, to me, zero. makes November it 3, X, Sierra. superior. Where you don't have to think about where you're going. You just go to what you would normally do. And that is, that's key. Um, versus VATSIM where, you know, you, you, you kind of have to guess a little bit. Um, four, three, so yeah, I agree. Sierra, Not having to think about where you got to go makes it makes all the difference. Uh, I met up with Ty and a few other guys from the community. It's always fun to meet people and just talk. When you have information, all the time Julia, online. Yeah, exactly. Eagle. It's it is really fun, and that's one of the best things about um, Flight Sim Expo. Three zero four zero. Five left. Double five right up here. The best thing about Flight Sim Expo is getting to do that on a, on a large scale. It's, it's really cool. I'm trying to listen, Chris. I know, I'm trying. Um, uh, students get out of their education what they put into it. Whoa! <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Copy the risk. Um... Oh, you met up with the Arizona Aviator? That's awesome. Whoa! Where'd that come from? So what I, what I was... 27, 6, November. Uh, uh, what, what I was saying is, like, the automotive industry has, you know, very compartmentalized. If you're a... Um, you know, a BMW guy, you the hate the Porsche guys. Car if you're a Ferrari guy, you hate the Lamborghini guys. Uh, like further, Claire, if you're a Camaro zero, guy, you hate the Mustang the guys. And, you know, with aviation, it's so inviting. You can be scraping Boy, along. Echo contact Oakland Center, 132.2. 132.2, 204 Lima Echo. I was listening that time. That was beautiful. Nice radio call, Bill. Thank you, Chris. 
Oakland Center, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, 12,500. Okay. Heading and I need your call sign on every back as well. I finally put it into autopilot. Uh, the auto industry has clicks. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, the only click in aviation is just everyone not flying Cirruses against the Cirruses. <laughs> That's really funny, too. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, yeah, so imagine imagine that that Cirrus community, but like multiplied by every manner of car you can think of. So in the aviation community, you could be scraping by and renting a 152. You could be a single pilot owner of a of a of a jet, you know, single pilot jet. You could be a corporate pilot. You could be an airline pilot. You could be a blimp pilot, and it's like you can all sit down at a bar and have a beer and like just have the best time ever. And you really can't do that in the automotive industry. I mean, that's that may be a little bit of an exaggeration, but if you're like some of these concord guys that um, you know that have been around that have, I mean, honest, honest to God, like. Here's a car worth five million dollars. I've detailed, I've touched, and like screwed around with a car that is worth five million dollars. That person has a very hard time getting along with a Mustang enthusiast. Um, aviation, you don't, you do not get that at all. Um, trying to convince my wife that I need to go to Expo this year. But it's just before my 40th birthday, so I think she has plans. Plans could be in Vegas. Pull Brian, up. Just saying. Pull up. Uh, Nary FX, thank you very much for following. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Uh, I live outside. I have met too many balloon addicts. <laughs> uh, I hear a lot of people dislike zero guys. Yeah. Fatal, thank you. A good point. Cirrus and, and zeros. <laughs> oh my god. Fatal. Thank you. So that is not actually a 172. That is a, that was a Marchetti. Uh, Oakland Center, 204 Lee Maco. But I'm the four, Lake Tahoe, Kimura, 3045, say altitude. 3045, we're at uh, 12,500. Thanks. We're going east, and we should be at odds, but we're kind of zigzagging a little bit. Uh, I forgot to tell you, Bill, my pilotage account got terminated the other day, so I thought I would share with you. Um, homie, like, term what do you mean terminated? Like, your did your trial end? trial end or did you make a boo-boo <laughs> we are how far are we from here's here's what I'm looking at right now so I'm kind of aiming for mono lake so we're gonna cruise out to mono lake What's our minimum vectoring altitude? 12,800. So we're going to be running into... We're going to run into that mountain, which is right here. We're going to run right into that, and I'm going to just go to the, to the west of that. So I'm going to shoot for that gap right there. Okay. We're going to drop Keith Hates with you. I'm not a. I don't like it either. Uh, 
there's a couple of radio calls that we hear all the time in the in the real plane that are just crazy. Um, really, really annoying. Okay. Oakland Center, Bonanza 204, Lee Mecca. We'd like to cancel flight following. Squawking VFR, frequency change approved, Squawking VFR, change approved, 204, Lima Echo, we'll talk to you soon. Let's go to Fingers. Let's see if that Marchetti buzzing around has anything interesting to say. I'll throw him an eye down, too. <laughs> Uh, heard tonight on Pilot Edge, someone kept saying 10-4 about everything. Oh, God, David, yikes. Uh, no, my whole account got terminated because I kept failing my Cat 2 and doing other flights without going through the rating. Salt Lake City talked to the head guy at Pilot Edge, and he sent me an email and informed me that my account was terminated. Um, homie, uh, send me a message on Discord, and we'll, we'll talk. Um... We'll talk about that. But yeah, send me a message on Discord. And if you're, for those of you that are not on the Discord, here it is. But yeah, there's there's some stuff that we can that we can definitely talk about. All traffic in the area, please advise. Get out. <laughs> well, hello, Marchetti. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh no, yeah, you homie, I, I know you have. I'm, I was just posting. I was just posting that if as a as a segue. I know you have. I'm just saying. Um, direct message me. On I was Discord. wondering how long it was going to take for you to terminate. Yeah, I got distracted blabbing away about God knows what, dude. It is. How much freaking room is out here in the Western Expansion? Good lord. There's a whole lot of nothing in Nevada. Damn. Okay, so on my way up to Seattle, um, all those pictures I was posting in the Discord of the, the like airport spotting that I did, we flew right over where Half Dome Rock was, but this whole area looks absolutely gorgeous to fly. Yeah, it is. It's, it's really nice. Half Dome's closer to Mammoth, so it'll be a bit of a hike to get there, but... Uh, yeah, it's it's a beautiful area up here. Have you ever flown uh, GA up here? No, not yet. It's part of my plan, but I haven't done it yet. Yeah, it seems it seems like it's a challenge. I mean, we're I mean, twelve thousand five hundred is is up there for sure. Yeah, not so much of a big deal on the Bonanza. It feels very much at home above ten. What's your true speed up there, usually? 170 plus. Really crazy. Crazy friggin' airplane. But the Bonanza is just the best plane ever. Uh, Keen, I fly all over uh, PE and never had anyone say anything about doing the ratings. Um, yeah, so and that's, that's kind of why I want to homie why I want to talk because I, I think there might be some stuff that we can we can work out and um, and tune up um, I also to be to be completely transparent homie um, I don't know what your native language is because there's a lot of people on pilot edge that have um, issues because English is not their native language and that, that can be part of the, the barrier to that. So, um, getting... The problem I'm having is your CSL is kind of bouncing around a little bit, so it's hard to tell my relative movement to you. I'm showing you just directly behind me here. I'll, I'll, I'll hold that up right now so you can, if you're watching the, this thing. I live in yeah, no, I, I can see that. It's just a little mismatch, and the CSL is kind of bouncing a little bit. Uh, let's see. Hey, Bill, have you done flight of two or more on the network? 
I think the most that I've done, um, Ed, on the network is four. Okay, and homie, that's... Um, yeah, I, 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 um, I wasn't sure, so I just, you know, that hey, that's one whoa, possible piece. Buddy. Flying with Arnold, four, I had to, like, look at that, like, 14 months, dude? Jesus, man. Um, wow. That's, <laughs> Yoshi. Arnold, good evening, man. Dude, so I, I hung out with um, with our friend High Wing on Saturday, I guess it was. Dude, we, ha we have to connect soon, man. We definitely have to connect soon. But thank you so much, man. 14 months, that's, that's crazy. I think the other piece is that I have a learning disability and I'm slow at learning things. Well, that's, that's fine, um, which is why we should we should talk because I think there are some things that you can do to help, um, you know, get, get, uh, comfortable with the radios and just kind of see where, where the deficiencies are and what you, um, um, you know, what, what you might be able to do to get better at it. So that, um, we'll, we'll see. I, I don't give up. We'll we'll uh, we'll figure something out. Uh, he didn't invite me. What a bastard! Uh, how come you have a new instructor fund? Okay, my new instructor fund. Slightly tongue in cheek, but there is there is a story behind it. Um, <laughs> we it will we'll pay it off. Um, but it it definitely um, it's definitely it's yeah. <laughs> Did you fire Brad and make him homeless? <laughs> no to both, but um, that answered nothing. No, it 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 definitely answered absolutely nothing on purpose. It purposefully answered nothing. His instructor's an asshole. That was the longest string of non-words I've ever heard. <laughs> so, Brad, would you would you like to give your spin besides um, you're an asshole to the um, new instructor fund? Honestly, I'm not sure I can spin it any more than that. I mean, I mean that's just a fact. Uh, can we fly in Vatsim and talk there in our planes at that school? Day? Yeah, homie, that would be, that would be fun. The non-answer answer. Um, kind of, yeah. I mean, there really isn't like a. I, Brad is not moving away. Bill decided after you know a year and some change that I'm not actually nearly as cool as he thinks I am. Thank you for jumping in. I I, I don't even know how to explain it. God. Oh. How? Where is Mono Lake? Are we dug yourself a hole now, buddy? <laughs> are, we, <laughs> are we close to Mono Mono Lake? Where's Mono Lake? I think that actually might be it peaking out. No, no, we're we're like a hundred miles away. Dude, we're twenty five miles away. What are you talking about? Well, see now you know why you need a new instructor. <laughs> See, there you go. That is, he was literally four times further. 
Uh, I heard Brad got Brasher. Brasher? I don't even know what that is. Um, so bad that he can't instruct anymore. Fizdo got his ass finally. <laughs> Uh, it's taken so long for Bill to get his check flight that Brad is feeling insecure. Uh, Brasher warning is when ATC gives you a phone number to call. Oh, I didn't, I never knew that. Brasher? Damn. I learned something today. I really li I like that. Oh, my God. Oh, you learned it from the right person. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear the story. A good pilot is ahead. always learning. A good pilot is always learning, Titanium Druid. <laughs> Don't call him back. <laughs> I thought you... Yeah, I just, just write down the number wrong. Oh my god, that's, that is so funny. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. What is that? radar on apparently. Weather is actually really nice up here. Uh, it's worth it though, Brad, isn't it? Getting rid of me? I, I don't think there's anything that's uh, more worth it than that. Well, that goes without saying, but just in in general, the backstory it's it's gonna pay off, right? It's gonna pay off. Man, I've been trying to pay these people off for years. That's a one seven six. Turn right, hotel, kind of ground. See you. Right, right at hotel. Contact the ground. See you. Uh, and my native language is Portuguese. I struggled a lot early on my training, to be honest. I've been living in the U.S. for almost four years, and when I got here, I couldn't speak one word in English. Obrigado. Uh, imagine becoming a pilot and flying in U.S. airspace. What I wanted to say is, if if I did that, I'm pretty sure you can do better. Obrigado. I know a little. I know a little Portuguese. That one word. I know that one word. I know more words, but I just can't think of them right now. Hashtag Free Brad 2020. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, homie, definitely send me a message on. Uh, oh, oh, I'm very free. <laughs> Why are you saying that like in a time? Because I my schedule just opened wide up. Uh ob obrigat. I am saying that like in a time, aren't I? Um so Ed, is that how how good is that for obrigato? Obrigato. How was how was my uh enunciation there? Obrigato. <laughs> the D, not a T. I do s tend to say um, even Spanish words in Italian, but um, man, I love Italian. Have you been to Brazil? No, I have not been to Brazil, but I have um, I have a, a few Brazilian friends, um, and. I've kind of picked up a few things. That's, that was the only thing I could think of off the, off the top of my head. I, I've been taught a few other things, but... Um, Obrigato was the first thing that came to mind. I have a Brazilian friend, too. Hilarious, right? Uh, Italian is fun. I, I had such a fun time learning Italian. few months in Brazil working on oh working for the Brazilian Navy Greg that's freaking sweet move to Albuquerque I'll take my training from here so when we when we fill up the <laughs> we fill up the Cessna at at John Wayne the AC like it's it's a uh, full service fuel and we we tell them I mean like some of the guys know us by now so when you know it's like hey put it on my tab or whatever because they have your, your card on file and they bill it to a name um if it's somebody that doesn't know my last name or who to bill it to we always say like uh yeah bill it to to forelli and you have to like request it <laughs> you have to fill it up like this 
I don't think they really appreciate it too much because they don't, they don't get it. Uh, it sounds correct with an Italian accent. It does it. Obrigato. Uh, don't forget to hit the mobile at Lee Van. Yeah, where is Lee? Van? Lee Vining is just on the other side of Lake Shore. Cool little town. Ridiculously expensive gas. I've, like I saw, I saw on, uh, I saw it on some list that Julia and I were looking at last night of like coolest airports in California. Yeah, Lee Vining kind of scares me because the terrain and the altitude and the temperatures they get there, but um, it's a cool little place. There it is. Have you seen any of the nature shows that have um, Mono Lake in it? No, I don't think so. It's pretty crazy. There's some like weird bug stuff going on. Like all this, this white part around the edge of it. I, I, it's been so long since I've seen it, but it's it's pretty interesting what happens here. Like there's a, a swarm of flies, I think, and then it brings a bunch of flocks of birds. Oh, I think they're like swallows or something kind of uh, pedestrian, but they just come like in hordes and just f- adds like a feeding frenzy. It's crazy. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I spent a, a lot of time up in Mammoth when I was a kid, so we'd venture up here every now and then. Oh, I know why that sounded familiar. I took off from here when I first, when I was testing the overlays. And it is actually a 3D airport in X-Plane. It is. I've landed a helicopter there before in X-Plane. Chopper Creeper. No, what you talking about. I just came through to say hi. I need to go study. Have a good night. Arnold, have a fantastic night. Thank you for stopping by. And what are we at? 13 months? Is it? Did it? Was it 13? 14. Dude, what the hell? 14. It seems bizarre that I've even been doing this for 14 months. People still watch TV. Only time I watch TV is it's a hockey game. Greg, what's your what's your hockey team? Okay, so we have. Oh yeah, we we do. All right, Brad, I'm kind of liking this little valley that's just off our right. Um, we probably are, we're definitely gonna have to climb up a little bit, but let's uh, check that out and try to find this dome. I'm probably gonna leave you to it. Uh, the Marchetti is many things, but fuel efficient is not one of them. Dude, are you out of gas already? I topped it off before we left Reno. Well, dude, hit Lee Vanning, top it off. They don't have, they actually don't have fuel, but you can get uh, our fuel guy, Bob. Uh, we'll bring you some av gas and come meet me over by the rock. I can't even find a helicopter pilot to come fly me some fuel. Uh, helicopter, whatever, we'll get, Bob will be on it. Wherever you are, Bob will bring the fuel. Yeah, it's mostly just that I have other stuff that I have to do. Yeah, yeah. Better than seeing what a super jank-looking version of a uh, Half Dome Rock looks like? Probably not. <laughs> Bill only needs to be embarrassed if I get my ticket before him. I'm not even taking lessons yet. Just the Discovery flight 13 years ago. <laughs> uh, that, would be, that would be a bad look, Keen. That would be a bad look. Um, working on the I rating in ZLA at the moment. Uh, below, when when is your uh, your your instrument check ride? Um, it's is it Sunday? Okay. 
Yeah. All right, I'm gonna break out of here off your left. Have fun. We will. We will try. Get, have some. Have fun getting some fuel. Here he goes. <laughs> So for those of you that are into aviation um, social media, SJC Spotter, Owen, um, that's his favorite thing is, is uh, formation breaks. And when Brad and I were flying formation with him, just freaking insane. It's, I cannot wait to be at the controls of a plane and be able to see that. <laughs> just... Oh my god, it makes me makes me so happy. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah, below. We need we need full team coverage on the instrument rating. Don't focus on it. Do the check ride. Don't say a word to anybody before you do it. But after you do it, we want to hear we want to hear all about it. Uh, how busy is the airspace after you leave John Wayne in real life, um, homie? It depends. Um, it depends where you're going and at what altitudes you're going. Um, like if you're in the Long Beach practice area, it will be really busy. It's a it's a mess. Um, but if you're flying coastal route or French Valley or Inland Empire, it's not really that bad. I think the craziest frequency, and I don't know the actual, um, I don't know the actual frequency. If, if Brad is still in here, um, he might be able to know, but it's it's the frequency that is like right at the um, Sepulveda Pass. It doesn't matter what the frequency actually is, but like in that like Burbank Van Nuys, uh, going like before you get into the coastal route, the actual frequencies that you get into the coastal route are pretty quiet, but it's the approach uh, frequency that you get before you go into the coastal route. Where are you guys flying to? I'm logged on the PE and may join you. Ed, we're going. I'm. I'm trying to find Half Dome Rock. Uh, TBM is great for Western expansion. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good speed and plane for for the West. Haven't flown a tube liner on PE yet. Uh, I have. I have flown a 737 on Pilot Edge twice. Both of them were a disaster. The first one was Julia and me co-piloting uh, the Zebo VFR from Palm Springs to, to John Wayne. And then my mom as my flight attendant and I crashed at John Wayne. So not a good one. It happens fast if you if you've got a short route. If you've got the Western expansion and ZLA combo, I feel like going from um, you know doing like a Seattle Portland to SoCal or Vegas Phoenix um, isn't isn't too bad. But. Greg, dude, PC12 is so awesome. If I could. If I can just hit a button and fly commercially and not, you know, like uh, the big boys, but if it was not a jet, it would, King Air is number one and a PC-12 would be number two. That plane looks freaking awesome.
San Jose to San Francisco in a th in a three nineteen. Oh, Salt Lake C Salt Lake City. Okay, sorry. Uh, I was thinking of uh, San Jose. Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta to Johannesburg. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, PC24 is pretty sweet. No, no doubt. If you fly the pattern... Oh, if you are flying patterns and ETC tells you to report midfield, but there is radio chatter, should you just skip the report? Um, no, don't skip the report. Wait. This happens all the time. Because I, I've done, I have maybe broken the record for patterns flown in Pilotage. Not bragging, not, not a low key flex. I think I've probably flown more patterns in Pilotage than, any, than anybody. Um, wait until your, until the frequency calms down and report wherever you are. So if, if for example, John Wayne, Report midfield, you know, two zero left. Usually you'd say, uh, John Wayne Tower, Skyhawk, 53176, midfield, left downwind, two zero left. Frequency is quiet. Um, if there's somebody talking in your midfield and you're still on the, or you're past midfield, but you're still on the downwind, you can say, John Wayne Tower, Skyhawk, one, two, three, Alpha Bravo, uh, downwind, two zero left. If you're turning base, which you can do even if you haven't been cleared to, to land, you can continue on. John Wayne Tower, Skyhawk 1 2, Alpha Bravo, uh, left base 2 0 left. Just get it in whenever practical. And there have been times when I've gone base to final, not being able to check in, and you just continue and go around. So you don't keep going on the downwind, you just continue. Because you're cleared for left closed traffic, but if you're not cleared to land, or for the option, or for whatever, um, you Cessna you just Skyhawk continue. Two zero four. Fuck. Thank you. Uh, report as close to it as possible. Report midfield unless ATZ calls you first. All right, sorry that break got that break got exciting. <laughs> Brad, did you run out of fuel again? Did you honestly? Did you run out of fuel again? I completely forgot we're looking for half dome rock. So let's come back. Uh, it happens all the time on PE. Yep, midfield call is just a memory aid for tower. Uh, busiest frequency in SoCal varies by the day, but usually it's 124.3, 27.2, and 24.2. So 27.2 was um, very familiar with 27.2. Um, 243, Brad, is that is that uh, the Burbank area? You can call it beam numbers, turning base, etc. F bomb from Kinney. He's busy <laughs> putting in V7's chat. Uh, okay. Read the list again. Some of what? Oh, some of them say that you have radar covered. Some of them don't. Uh, you say traffic out. Okay, man, I got behind real quick. Um, you stay at traffic altitude, right, if you can't check in before final. No, you continue, Keen, until, like, you can, you <clears throat> continue to land um, and then check in. If if you're on final and you don't get the clearance, then you go around. But, yeah, you, you continue, you continue on. Um, Jamie, I know, dude, we're up in friggin' Reno. How crazy is this? I'd start descending, but wouldn't go around if I never got to land yet. Uh, that is why I can't twitch. <laughs> uh, LA de oh, LA departures, okay. Um, yeah. I 
I know, it's pretty wild, right? I just downloaded the orthos up here. So I'm just checking it out. We're actually, at the moment, looking for Half Dome Rock. Dude. There it is. That's freaking it. That is it. There it is. <laughs> I can't believe we found it. <laughs> Dude, there it is. Oh my god. That is that is absolutely it right there. That is crazy. Look at how cool that looks. Holy shit, that looks awesome. Uh okay, here we go. All right, we're, um, my goal was to find Half Dome Rock. And, oh man, that is, look at how crazy that looks. If you cry, I will tell you I'm not laughing. I will lie to you as a good friend. <laughs> That's it! Look at it! Okay, let's fly. Hang on. That is crazy. Uh, you think that looks good? Try out some or Orbix Washington to fly there. Dude, I, I bet, man. Those Orbix guys are crazy. There it is! <laughs> I mean, it, it looks fantastic, but just the fact that we found it is amazing. Julia, do you know Half Dome Rock? You gotta come check this out, this is awesome. It's, a, it's it's obviously a little bit on the jank side, but um, but that is freaking cool. How cool is that? We did it! We found it! Are you kidding? No? Dude, this chair wheels. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh man, look at that. That is freaking cool. It is a very popular rock climbing site. Juliet, Greg wants another scotch, please. You can see El Capitan too. Uh, Chad, where is El Capitan? Dude, that's freaking cool. Carinado. What are you doing? Pull up. Pull up. That looks so awesome. Yeah, it's a little it's a little janky, but that's pretty cool to be able to find it. Don't see any roads in up to it. At your six north side of the valley. Okay, I like the look of this valley right there. So let's um, let's do one more little orbit around 
Half dome. I can't believe we just like found it that easily. It would be just north of that. Like I know the name, but I don't know if I would even know what it looks like or know what I'm looking for. Like that's so cool. Oh, that is so freaking cool. We we don't need that. Yosemite Village was on the VFR chart. It would be just north of that. Got it. God, that is so cool. Look at this valley. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go inside that valley. We're gonna oh yeah. Here we go. You ready? Who's ready? Going for the break. <laughs> it's not it's not quite the same, is it? There there we go. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Whoa. Just like Beggar's Canyon back home. Beggar's Half Dome. Oh, look at this. This is cool. <laughs> this is really cool. Warm. <laughs> Thank you, Carinado. Dude, look at how cool this looks. Wow. Right there. That's the shot. There's your thumbnail. If you want to find this on YouTube, that's what that's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there's no airport anywhere near here. If we have an engine out, it's going to be not good. Like look at those rocks. The the ortho on those rocks like awesome. Yeah, well, yeah, there's gonna be, there is a road, but, I mean. We could. Yeah, I mean, Yoshi, easy, but, you know, we're, we're putting it down on pavement, that's for sure. Closest airport is Fresno, and. No, nobody comes to Fresno. <laughs> What's wrong with the no, dude? You hating on the no? I'm passing El Capitan. I've heard of that name, but I just don't know. Is that it right there? Is that right there? I mean, that, that doesn't look as good. Is that it right there? Yep, that's it. Cool. Okay. Pilot Edge has two events called Nobody Goes to Rest. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the no. Don't have a parachute on board, but... You know, it's kind of uh, did your plane's front fall off? <laughs> Huge rock. Uh, very popular with climbers. Here's our, our breadcrumbs.
Yeah, it did it did look pretty jank. Alright, looks like we're out of the uh out of the crazy stuff. Follow this here. So what do we got here? We have um, Mount Bullhone. Okay, that's cool. Pine Mountain Lake, that's cool. Um, what, we, what else what else do we have? You know, I actually don't even know what airports are um, controlled on a pilot edge. Uh, if we crash, can I get my money back? <laughs> I don't want to say yes, just in case, but yes. Yeah. Um, Joshua trees in the desert. So I have like a... Um, Look at how dense that is. Uh, HD forests, but it also may, may be um, cross-pollinating some of the SoCal trees as well. Uh, this is why I'm jonesing for FS2020 true VFR. Yeah, dude, it, if it's if it still holds true, um, it could be pretty could be pretty epic. Uh, what do you want to know? I'm here. Uh, you can get a nice VFR and explain, but it takes effort. I will happily do this. Yeah, I agree. Ortho is, ortho is the key. If you can get set up with a nice ortho, uh, it's it makes all, all the difference. I need to know what... what um, Closest towered airport on Pilot Edge. So we're right here. Let's just get up. Let's get up past this. I'll put it. I'll actually do some some actual piloting here. Uh, head to Mount Rushmore, KFAT or uh, San Jose. <laughs> towered airport is Western expansion. The key ones. Once, once the Bill and Brad Charter uh, Company gets started, um, it'll be, we'll be tearing up the West. I just want to get to a safe altitude and then, and then go into four flight mode. So we're going west. Let's get up to 6,500. That seems like a good altitude. Our Y would be the closest. So Fres Fresno Fresno might be a good option. Closer uh, Ortho doesn't seem to hold a candle to. Yeah, I mean, it's I love X plane. There's nothing wrong with it. If something better comes along, um, then absolutely let me add it. But like this looks awesome. This is super fun. How cool is this? Right? Like if you're if you're watching this right now, if you're if you're if you're listening to me right now, this looks freaking cool. Like but that being said, once it looks better, um it's going to be even cooler. But um X plane X plane has a lot of life left in left in it. Yeah, this this looks this is awesome. I'm having a freaking great time. Uh, I'm sitting on Echo 45, getting ready to take off. All right. 
here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go mm, iPad very big. If I wasn't watching you, I would be flying. Well, Keen, thank you. Big iPad. So what are what are the airports that are um, powered here? So we got San Jose, Ooh, San Jose actually sounds kind of nice. The last time I was at San Jose Airport, Brad was landing a jet. Oakland, yeah, I don't want to go to Oakland. Uh, Foxtrot, go Tango. That's also that one's even closer. Um, M -M -Y -R. N R Y, not Myrtle Beach. <laughs> M R Y. Oh, Monterey. Ooh, well, I've been to Monterey many times. I think we're going to Fresno. I have not tried Garmin, no. I'm I'm a four flight fan. Uh, love X plane, but if better comes out, I'm gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, Monterey is is awesome. Uh, is it Myrtle Beach on the East Coast? Yeah, Myrtle Beach is in Virginia. <laughs> a lot of good golf courses there. Uh, this is way too far. Uh, but if you have scenery in Oregon, Medford is one of my favorite places in the Western Expansion. It's amazing for Florida's. Awesome. Um, KFAT. <laughs> I was trying to think of something, some like, uh, South Carolina. What did I say? Virginia? South Carolina. Thank you, dog. Uh, definitely South Carolina. KFAD 105.3 playing all the classic rock hits. Now another commercial free 30 minutes of non-stop classic rock. Here is Fleetwood Mac with Rumors. KFAD. Uh, little known fact about me, I had a radio show when I was I, I had a radio show, like I was live on the air on the radio when I was <laughs> when I was twelve years old. I was twelve and I had my own I had my own radio show. I don't know if if you're really surprised by that or not surprised at all. I would I would uh, not be surprised at either of those. Uh, Yosemite is for uh, Oh, Yosemite to Myrtle Beach, 24-hour stream. Oh, that was... Um, yeah. That's a haul. I have a taste in music, Keen. I don't know if it's good or bad. I, I would bet that nobody in a hundred years would guess my favorite band um, it's so bizarre Fleetwood Mac is awesome Watch I have party. I have Fleetwood, Fleetwood Mac on vinyl actually nope 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 mm. 
I just realized that I have to I have to change the fuel here. Blink twenty two. Eagles is a good answer. Eagles is actually not a not a bad answer. Um Angels and Airwaves, no. Uh Nary FX. No, that's not you. Who just who just followed? Um I don't know if, if I um uh, I didn't I didn't catch you fall. Uh, Iowa. Happy Tuesday, man. Thanks for Darwin and Squeaker FM. <laughs> Thank you. Nirvana? I actually like Oh dude, Joe, Joe Walsh is so good. All right, you guys are getting you guys are getting eerily close. Joe Walsh is one of my favorites. I really, really love Joe Walsh. Julia, how much do I love Joe Walsh? She says a lot. I really like Joe Walsh a lot, and I saw him live with the Eagles, and it was amazing. Uh, David Flock of Seagulls, dude, you're 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 really you're on the right track with Flock of Seagulls. <laughs> I I do really really like Flex. <laughs> Let's do some. Uh, my dad saw him. Oh, my dad and I saw him live. I saw him live also in the time of the Eagles. Yeah, he's he is awesome. He is really awesome. Also. Um, No, not clean switch. So far, Nirvana is the only one I know. Nirvana is good. I I'm not a huge Nirvana fan. Um, I don't really like Smells Like Teen Spirit, but um, I can't think of the other one. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, David, Tears for Fears is amazing. It's not Elton John. No, thank you, Joe. It's not Elton John. Tears for Fears is really, really good. But that's not that's not who it is. It's not the Foo Fighters. Nope. Not Grunge. More Tears for Fears than Foo Fighters. Tears for Fears is... Absolutely, Greg. Uh, let's see here. I do, I do like that song a lot, but it's, it's not, it's not grunge at all. Uh, the green guy at the end of the stream. I knew it. Well, yeah, yes, but also no. Toto, oh, it's really keen, really close. Toto is a really good answer as well. Rosanna is one of my favorite songs of all time. Um, oh, Rosanna is so good, but it is, but it is not, is not Toto. It's not the one I'm thinking of. Nine or left, two nine or right. Visual approaches in use. BFR departures. Africa is good, but I rose as my favorite. on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested, Journey's read good. back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. Uh, you have information box drawn. Information box drawn. Okay. <clears throat> Fresno approach, Bonanza two zero four Lima Echo six thousand six hundred, inbound Fresno. Joe. Beautiful. We are 22 miles west of the 
El Nido VOR, 204 Lima Echo. Uh, I actually worked for John. Echo, Wonka, 2042. 2042 for Lima Echo. That's uh, 2242. I worked for Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons. Oddly enough. I I have um yeah. I were I worked for KISS. There's there's another little known fact about me. Um uh for the Magra contact three, four miles northeast, northwest of uh Fresno. Altimeter 3026. 3026 for Lima Echo. Yeah, I I worked for, for Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons. That is a crazy story. Uh, okay, Ario Speedwagon, no. Okay, it's a British, they're British. Saw Journey and Def Leppard together all. Journey and Def Leppard would be an unbelievable tour. I'm an old guy that lived through a lot of these bands' heyday. Well, David, then you you definitely have to know my favorite band. Um, okay, they're British. I I saw them live last year, and it was unbelievable. Oh, the Who is a good one. No, it's not the Who, but that's another fantastic. That's another really good one. Um, it's not the Who. It's not the Sex Pistols. Uh, I lost a complete set of Kiss albums finals to a float. Oh, Keen. Bummer, dude. Yeah, those those two guys are characters. Um, look up Fourth and Loud. I was I was heavily involved in ancillarily, if that's even a word. I probably just made that up. To Fourth and Loud and AMC reality. But yeah, not The Who, not Sex Pistols. Uh, They were around in the 80s, but they were primarily a 70s band. So 70s, British. um, I think what what would be another good... um, Way assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Foxtrot. Fresno Approach, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo. We have information Foxtrot at Fresno. Bonanza 204, Lima Not Black Sabbath. No, a little bit more pop. A little bit more, less less hard rock, more pop. I don't want to tell you guys, because you, you're like, you're kind of there. It might be obscure enough where you, where you might not get it, but I feel like I want to give you the opportunity. Uh, pattern is 13, elevation is 336, tower is 18.2, Devo is good, wait are we guessing favorite band, yeah, yeah right, my favorite band I think, yeah, I think it, at this point it probably is my favorite band. I am a huge Michael Jackson fan. I have 800 plus Michael Jackson songs. We're going to end it there. I know everything. Oh, The Cure is a good one. It's not The Cure, but that is a very good answer. Um, but The Jacksons, uh, Triumph is one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, so it's not The Jacksons. It's, it's a British band. The Cure is really good. Uh, favorite band is three hundred and sixty-five dollars away for. <laughs> nope, it's not Muse. No, it's seventies into the eighties. Zero five zero. Okay, so we're probably landing. So. 
No, Rolling Stones. No, not Rolling Stones or Queen. Those are good answers, but they're not um, less mainstream than the Rolling Stones or Queen. I really, I really want you to get it. Not poppy enough. Um, I would say that they, they share. Oh, Joy Division shoes. How do you know Joy Division? <laughs> it's not, it's not Joy Division, but that is a, that is an obscure one. Good lord. Everybody, round of applause for for shoes for the Joy Division reference. That's that's amazing. Uh, not Joy Division, no. Um, they the band shares more with um, my dad uh, with the Beatles. They're more Beatles than Rolling Stones. Oh man, Joy Division. That's hilarious. Not the monkeys, no, no, no. But good, good answer. The monkeys is a good answer for the um, uh, the the Beatles connection. Uh, it's not the police. Oh man. I mean, it's one of like I have on my phone. I have. Let's see. I have a playlist just for. And it's got 88 songs. And I would say 86 of them are just freaking gems. The Kinks? Less punk. Less punk than the Kinks. Dude, this is kind of this is kind of fun. Oh man. Somebody has to get it. Somebody has to get it. Ooh, okay. So, Foreigner is really, really close. That is one of my favorite concerts that I've been to ever. Um, Urgent is absolutely unbelievable. Um, I love Foreigner. At one point, they were one of my favorite bands. Um, Urgent, Cold-Blooded... Um, Cold, cold as ice, hot blooded. Uh, it's not Fleetwood Mac. Foreigner is, it's. F Foreigner isn't. Who would you say is the closest then? The Beatles. Who who would be the closest? Chili. Dude, Chili, happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for the host. Welcome, everybody, from Chili Stream. My favorite concert was 2002 Blink-182. Dude, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Do they share the same name as a playing card? They do not. No, no reference to a playing card. Um, Chili, you're the best, dude. How how do I give you a hint? Um, Seventies British pop Beatles ish. Um, Not Dire Straits. That's a good. That's a good one too, though. Who would you say, Julia? I mean, the Beatles is the closest I can think of. But it's not. It's not the same type of music. But they're they're at least close. There. There's a connection to the Beatles. 
the lead member of this band was also in a band with a member of the Beatles. That might um, that might be too much. There's a lot of col- yeah. There's a lot of collaboration. Um, if it's Wings, Bill and I are soulmates. It's Keen. It's not. It's not Wings. It is not Wings. But kind of on the would would Wings be the kind of on the right track? It's not shoes. It's not Super Tramp. But dude, shoes. You're coming in with some some pretty good calls. They're wrong, but they're really one one eight point two for Lima Echo. Fresno Tower, Bonanza two zero four Lima Echo, eight miles to the southwest. Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, Fresno Tower, and the left uh, downwind from the 2 left, report midfield. Left downwind for a 2 left, report uh, mid downwind. Okay, let's see. When you're young and your heart was in no He got it! Box got it! <laughs> Electric Light Orchestra! <laughs> Freaking ELO! Jeff Lynn is my soul animal. <laughs> Below minimums, oh my gosh. What is ELO? Holy crap. Yep. Oh. Oh my god. Box, you freaking nailed it. <laughs> Shoes, you have got to be kidding me. Julia got me uh, ELO tickets for Christmas last year, and we saw we saw them on uh, June. And oh my God, it was just it could not have been any better. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to land. We're going to end the stream. We're going to end the video, whatever, and then we're just going to. Um, I I will. We're just gonna have. We're just gonna screw monetization and just go for ELO. Traveling Wilburys reference was a dead giveaway. Okay, all right. So you got you got the the Wilburys reference. All right, um, dude, that's so awesome. <laughs> Joe was three answers away from ELO. If you don't know Electric Light Orchestra and Jeff Lynne, it's they're just so good. What's up, homie? They're so so good. I that that concert was absolutely un, unbelievable. Um, Brian, how's it going? Happy Happy Tuesday. So Fresno's a bit on the flat side. Bill started humming, and my brain was desperately trying to drink. <laughs> well, I was humming the wings. Fresno Tower, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, midfield, left, downwind, 2 niner, left. Bonanza 4, Lima Echo, runway 2 niner, left, clip to land, wind 0403. Clip land, 2 niner, left, 204, Lima Echo. Alright, a, a little bit off on my downwind there. Um, Iowa, you were close. I mean, it's amazing if, if you know. Uh, ELO at all. Um, okay, so we got mixtures full rich, props are full forward. Let's get the gear coming down. We got fuel. We only we fixed that once, and I think we're. I am so out of trim. Holy crap! This thing drags up like crazy, so we should be good to go. Those are some long runways.
how often do you fly on VATSIM? Um, I've flown on VATSIM uh, a total of twice, homie. I, I really don't fly much at all. Um, Pilot Edge has the the realism factor that you just can't can't replicate um, anywhere else. But uh, VATSIM does has does have its um, its uses for sure. Uh, we copy the risk. We do indeed copy the risk. <laughs> Don't look at your taxi diagram when you're on short final. Oh my god, we're gonna do that again. Fresno Tower, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, we're going around. Bonanza 4, Lima Echo, make left traffic. Left traffic, 4, Lima Echo. That is... That... I will say that that is a great um, demonstration of the Caronado F-33 bouncing. The 172, even with the rep pack, does not bounce. This plane bounces. <laughs> Roy and George passed away too soon. Traveling Wilburys was doing really well. Um, Traveling Wilburys was awesome. So would you say that that landing made you turn to stone? It, I, yeah. So I like landing. It's a good idea to let me fly this thing. <laughs> somebody, somebody was not, was not thinking when they gave me the keys to that. Copy the rust. I just was not even looking. I was, I was not even looking. <laughs> oh my god, I was not even looking. What do you got, Ryan? Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's a living thing. -na 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 -na. Such a terrible thing to lose. Julia, shut <laughs> Let's see you sing, okay? Let's see you come in here and sing a, a chorus. Let's, yeah, well, why don't you come in here and sing a line from Evil Woman? How about that? <laughs> why don't you come a little bit closer so we can actually hear you? I don't think they can. I don't think anybody heard that. You gotta go way higher than that, too. There you go. Good land two niner left for Limaco. Julia, they want you closer to sing that. Okay, well your work can take a frickin' break. It's one chorus, it's one line. Such an evil woman, evil woman. Ba -da 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 -da. Time to okay, I am not looking at four flight. We're gonna actually I'm gonna turn it off. Just so nobody can see it. Nobody can see it. Fuck my connection is lost. There we go. Okay. It's gone. Evil woman, you've done me wrong. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got it. We got it. Okay. Any any other distractions on short final? Any any other distractions? Any anybody? Come on. 
Okay. Sterile cockpit, please, everybody. Glide slope. Oh, I have... If anyone is an ELO fan, I have the weirdest ELO story. Oh, it's so... I totally forgot about this one. All right, let's land. Focus on landing. If you know ELO, you will freak out over this. No, Julia. In fact, the ELT went off. Is how bad the landing was. God. <laughs> I think I gave up on me. Two, two full glasses of scotch. We're having fun. <laughs> God damn it. Cessna Skyhawk 204. What's an ELT, Fuck. Pedro? An ELT is what happens when you Bravo crash. Bravo 8, Alpha. Want to ground? Have a good one. Bravo 8 and Alpha 204, Limeka. Have a great one. Thanks. All right, we're just going to go. We're just going to go. We're going to park in one of these spots. Uh, my brother got me into listening to ELO back in the 70s. That's awesome. Uh, Chili, so I do drink scotch, and we were talking about, I have my, like, special occasion scotch, which is Johnny Walker Blue. Uh, this is Kirkland scotch, and it's fantastic. It's so good. Keen, uh, Pilot Edge does not see the ELT. No. Um... Chili, that is the plan. I will definitely be in Vegas, man. Uh, hope, hopefully, I'll be flying out there, um, and I'll probably go to North Vegas, land in North Vegas. But um, yeah, I'll definitely be there. Uh, I thought you were calling the hard thing. <laughs> yeah, Eugene is definitely tired of it. Eugene thought that he was escaping me by going to the Western Expansion, but, yeah. Go to Henderson versus, like, in in real life. Like, go to Henderson versus uh, VGT. Okay. Well, I have, I have barely started to plan that. Well, yeah, it's closer, but... Isn't it a little bit more expensive? Close that off. Awesome. Um, thank you, YouTube, so much for uh, joining me on this flight. If you've made it this far and you're watching this on YouTube, God bless you. That is freaking amazing. Have a great night. Subscribe, comment, all kinds of comments. Love you guys. Bye.